Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on here and talk to you a little bit. Um, about a week ago, um, for whoever checks out my stories, I had announced that I have a song coming out tomorrow. Um, and I kind of spent all week going back and forth on whether or not I should postpone it um, because I posted about it before the Black Lives Matter movement kind of started. Um, right now, obviously, it's been going on for a long time, but just this whole thing happening right now. Um, and I was talking to a lot of people about it, asking a lot of advice, um, talking to my engineer here, you know, what does he think? I know he spoke to some other people about it, just trying to figure out what the right thing to do is here. Um, and in the end, um, what his advice was, um, after he spoke to a friend and just kind of talking to me, and obviously I was thinking about this too, is this song is, is a little bit different than what I usually put out. Um, it's called Depressed, and um, it was created at a time where I was really, really sad. There was a lot going on in my life um, that made me sad. And it's kind of the first song I've ever done where I was just really, really vulnerable. Um, a lot of negative feelings. Usually I like to keep things lighter, more positive. Um, but it's about dealing with loss and it's about that dealing with sadness and that kind of thing. And their feeling was, and kind of my thought too, was that, you know, this isn't about cred, this isn't about numbers, it's about connecting with people and it's about giving them a song that could possibly like really relate to them and really make them feel like they're not alone. And even if I get to put this out and it helps one person, two people, like that's, that's what we want as artists is we want to connect with people. So I thought, I thought in the end, okay, I'll put it out. And then today I was stressing out about it again, whether I should do it or not. And, um, for like a split second, I was like, oh, but like, do I even want to put out the artwork for this, like with my face on it? And that split second was gone because in that moment I remembered who I kind of created these things with. The artwork for this song, the artwork for my last four songs, and the artwork for my next song, and probably the ones after that, were created by this amazing, amazing black woman named Nyla who lives in the United States. And I have loved working with her. She has been so kind. Her art is beautiful. Um, I will be tagging her in the description below, but her art has been incredible and I have loved working with her. And I thought, what better way to support um, black businesses than to put this song out. And not only is the artwork by an amazing black woman, but the visual for it that's gonna be posted here the day after I release it, that's gonna be on YouTube, on Facebook, is the visual made by an awesome black man named Akil, um, who started his own business, Falling Motion, will also be tagged below. Um, he is so, so cool. I love working with him. I remember when I did the music video for No Regrets, I told him I'm uncomfortable acting. Um, that part didn't actually make it, end up making it in the video, but there, we were trying things that were really out of my comfort zone and he made it so that I felt safe in that environment. I didn't feel like I was making a fool out of myself. We were just trying stuff, having fun. Um, and he created this really great, fun day. Um, there's also a black man in that music video that was really fun to work with. So it just kind of became, okay, you know what? I have to release it and I have to promote these people that I've been working with that have been so, so amazing. Um, and I was thinking too with this song, not that I make a lot of money, barely any, with my music right now, um, hoping that grows, but with this song, I think it would be really cool that whatever money I make from streams, anything like that, um, I could take that money and give it to um, a, an organization, an organization that helps black people here in Canada. Um, I would love, I'm, I'm doing my research, I want to find the right, the you know, the right places to give them to. Um, I would love uh, to, to find an organization that helps with uh, mental health with black people. I think that'd be really, really cool to donate to. If you guys know somewhere, please let me know in the comments. Um, anyway, all this to say that some pretty amazing black people were part of this project. Um, and this project was, was hard for, for me to do and it was 
way out of my comfort zone. I don't like to be emotional about stuff. I don't like to show that side of me to anybody. Um, but also know that it's important that I do so that people can feel safe coming to my accounts. People can feel safe listening to my music, knowing that everybody goes through it. They can relate to it. They can find they're not alone, basically. Um, so it will be out at midnight. Um, and like I said, I will be donating any money I make from this song to um, an organization that I will definitely post about. And um, yeah, I hope I hope you guys listen to it. I hope that it you can relate to it. Um, and if you think that someone could benefit from hearing it, that it would help them, you know, process emotions or basically deal with everything that's going on. Um, I hope you'll share it with them. Thanks for listening. <laughs>